Greetings, YouTube. Today I'll be talking about a Faulkner knife, and this was gifted to me by my father. I don't know where he got it from. So it came in the sleeve, it came, comes in this box, which has a little retention ribbon here. Um, it came with uh, instructions on how to open it, which made my wife, uh, made my wife smile. Um, this is a classic lockback folder. Absolutely one of the uh, most American designs I think you can have. It has a very deep and easily accessible uh, nail nick. I mean, that's 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 very roomy. I, though it, it, it opens very, very smoothly. You don't even actually need to use the nail nick. Hear that? Hear that? That's a, let me just do that one more time. That's a wonderfully positive sound. Uh, and again, a classic design. And we here we have um, uh, uh, hunting scenes, or, or at least Ram, uh, in, two, in a here in a, in a head close up, and then two here um, in silhouette. And we have Faulkner on that side, and on this side it says stainless steel 420 PEC, I believe, and it says collector's edition. I'm not sure what, how much of a collector's edition this is. Uh, it's a nice design. It has a nice feel to it. It's very comfortable. It's a little smaller as far as the scale goes than a lot of these type, type of knives um, that you will see. And it has a, for, to my hands, which aren't overly large, I think it, it has a nice, a nice feel to it and it's, it's very comfortable. This shape has always been very inviting to the hand when you're, when you're holding it. Um, fit of I mean, the finish of the blade is nice nicely rounded um, very very small swedge in here uh, the blade came out of the box with so so edge I wouldn't want to, yeah I, I, I wouldn't want to touch that up before I want to go out and using it um, and it comes to uh, not a needle point but a, a, a using point in my opinion um, sometimes you don't want a, a needle point on a, on a tool that you're going to be using. Though this is a collector's edition and in this particular style this is not something I'm going to be putting in my pocket and, and using. I'm going to definitely be keeping this in the box that came in. Uh, I don't know what this handle material is. Um, there's some implication that it's natural material but I gotta tell you it doesn't feel or look like any natural material I've ever known. Now, as far as the fit and finish of the rest of the knife is concerned, everything else down here is nice. Um, there's some small gaps here between the scale and the, the uh, uh, bolsters, but nothing to be get overly concerned about. Um, it closes nicely. In fact, nicely. The blade is not perfectly in the center. It's a little bit to my uh, to my left in this in this uh, configuration here. Uh, but again, that that snap is just just a lovely sensation. Uh, as far as the uh, blade itself, there's a little bit of wiggle in this direction and a little bit of just a very small amount in that direction. Uh, but again, this is not something that's going to be seeing a lot of day-to-day -day use, let's face it, it's designed as a collector's item, um, and uh, I will be using it as such, or keeping it as such, I should say. Uh, the box is actually kind of nice, too. Faux wood vibe going on here. I don't actually what it's made out of. But I like the little bevel here on the, on the lid so that when it closes up, it fits. It fits nicely. And it's nice, deep, and in fact, the first time I tried to get out of there, I'm like, arr, arr, arr. Okay, it was difficult. Um, but it's a nice model, and thinking of model, I have a number, uh, it has 5278182, which is the only identifying number on this, I think. Oops, oh, sorry. The identifying number on this thing. Yeah. And then there's a little blurb in the back. Faulkner knives are intended and sold for collecting purposes only. Please uh, retain this packaging for future reference in case of correspond, uh, correspondence. Due to variations in natural handle materials, specifications may vary. 
um, must be kept out of children's reach at all times. Careful while handling to prevent risk of energy. And then it's uh, in French, uh, Dutch, and German, which is kind of interesting. Uh, maybe this is a European thing. But uh, Faulkner has a has a definitely an English vibe in my book. But there you go, folks. This has been a Faulkner lockback. Um, it's a nice knife. Um, uh, it's going to be part of my collection. Um, though a knife designed as a collectible from the get-go, I question that. I gotta be honest. To me, a knife is a tool. And a knife should always be a tool. It can also be a collectible. Um, but I think it should be intended as a tool. And this was not designed as a tool. It was designed as a collectible that happens to be a knife. Uh, so the design philosophy behind that, I question. But the knife itself, it's a really good example of that classic lockback design. Um, and I gotta tell you, there's something about it that just makes me smile.